guys, welcome back to Tom's 100 Hectic Homestead. Um, today I'm going to tell you a bit about my aquaponics system. So right beside, behind me is my um, water reservoir, which is my pond. And this is where all the water, uh, where I keep all of my water for, for my aquaponics system. Um, so I have 23 Mozambican tilapia in here that act as my um, nutrient supplier and I feed them every three days with normal koi food um, and um, I have a pump in here that pumps 400 liters an hour and it can pump up to five meters high. I then also have an outlet pipe over there that um, takes water out uh, or takes water back in from, uh, from my aquaponics um, so yeah, let me show you my aquaponics system. So right here is my aquaponic system and the water goes from the pump from my pond right there and it gets pumped up into the um, pipes here that I use as my grow bed. Um, so the water will run through um, the pipes and will deliver water and nutrients to my plants. So you can see all of the roots on my um, cabbage that I'm growing here and I planted all of my plants in a polystyrene in polystyrene cups and I use a growing media called Lekka which is a uh, expanded clay. I just need to, you need to make sure when you're checking your plants that you put them back in properly um, otherwise um, you might catch the roots. Um, so an advantage of growing in an aquaponic system is that the plants grow quicker um, and they uh, you can grow vertically and you can um, and you can um, grow a lot more produce in a small amount of space. So the types of plants you can grow in an aquaponic system is all your leafy greens such as lettuce, uh, pak choy, uh, spinach, cabbages, kale. Um, and all different types of herbs. You can also actually grow um, tomatoes and different fruits like uh, of that sort. Um, when the plants grow, their roots will eventually attach to uh, get attached to each other. So this roots plant will attach to this roots plant, and they'll form a thick mat. That's why you have to keep you have to have a filter on your aquaponic system, otherwise. A ve uh, or any debris that gets clogged up in these roots will eventually clog up the whole system and um, the water will backflow and you could you could potentially lose your plants. So I have, I'm growing cabbages here in this aquaponic system and I'm growing spinach. Um, further down the aquaponic system the plants have become matted together so I can't lift those up to show you, but I can show you this one here. It has a nice healthy root system on. You can see there's actually um, a whole lot of uh, uh, just small particles of dirt. That's fine. So each day I'll come through and I'll look at each and every plant and I'll just make sure that the tips of the roots are nice and white. That means that the roots are getting enough oxygen and they are not rotting. Um, so many people do have uh, become, uh, come across the obstacle of where uh, there's not enough oxygen in the water and the roots actually just die off. So what they have to do is they have to put an air stone to bubble up the water and provide oxygen to the plants, roots. And then I never ever have to fertilize my uh, plants here because all my fertilizer is produced from my fish. Uh, because I just feed my fish and the fish will then um, excrete their waste and that will get mixed up with the water and the plants will then um, absorb those nutrients. The system that I'm using is an NFT which means nutrient film technique and I just like this technique because it's what suited me for my, where I live. Um, you can see right here that the spinaches also have some nice roots on them and um, I do plan to expand my um, aquaponic system. Um, 
these pipes that I use are normal um, sewer pipe and I just drilled holes in um, the pipe to place my polystyrene cup. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.